what is up Blazioneers and Blazionettes, I'm going to be giving you guys my quick review for I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. And um, so yeah, it basically is the sequel to I Know What You Did Last Summer and and then we we uh, we follow Julie James once again and then we find out that the ending from that first movie was actually a nightmare so that's more like a warning sign because she has another nightmare in the opening act of this movie and then she's been haunted by nightmares and hallucinations or whatever and just getting the you know fear that you know that the killer from the first movie is actually alive and well and is on and he's gonna come after her again so that's what she's been dealing with and then and then um, her and her uh, and her best friend slash roommate when a chance to go to the Bahamas and then they that's where they do they go to the Bahamas and then they're trying to you know enjoy themselves but she can't really seem to enjoy herself I mean she's still being haunted and then it turns out that some like whatever it's the killer from the first movie or somebody who's trying to you know carry on his legacy follows them to Bahamas and leaves a trail of dead bodies along the way and yeah and then and then her boyfriend Ray, you know, encounters that killer, and then he is determined to get to the Bahamas before he that killer gets to Julie. So that's where we have our movie. And um, I do like how it try to, you know, play with that factor of you don't really know who the killer is. Like, it, it, you know, it could, you know, it could be, you know, very well be the fisherman from the first movie, or it could be someone who is basically trying to carry you know like I said carry on the legacy I mean because Joey really is convinced that it's him and then when it gets down to it where you know her and all and her friends know that something's happening and then there are dead bodies everywhere and um, they suspect that it's somebody else and I do like how they told around with that I was like please I really hope that it's the same killer because I actually like that and if it was, you know, like somebody else, I'm like, and it, and it makes you think because they're, you know, like the, it, the the movie tries to make you think that it could be somebody else, but I mean, I liked how they tried to do that, but still, I was really hoping, like, let it be the same killer, let it be the same killer, and and the and what's really a little off is one of the new characters is named Will Benson, and you're thinking Will Benson. Uh, doesn't that sound off, you know, like off of Will, like Ben Willis? Yeah, that's not a foreshadowing at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, that, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even say that's a spoiler. I mean, just hearing that name, you're like, wait a minute. There's got to be a connection there. There's no way that's a coincidence. <laughs> and, um, and they, they do touch base on that later. And then, and then, like, um, so yeah, I mean like it's it's you know it it's a sequel like back then I thought it was you know this was far better than the first one. Not that I'm older. I thought, you know, like you know what? It's not a bad sequel. I mean, I could be it just could be me because I'm biased and I you know, like I said I enjoy these type of movies and um and uh, funny I didn't say this in my review for the first movie, but I guess, you know, since it's, you know, like, get, since these events are happening, like, guess what day that this is happening on, you know, like, when it gets down to, you know, like, where the killer is ready, the locked and loaded and ready to t come after these kids, and they have to either escape or kill them. Um, this is happening on, yep, July 4th. And that makes me think, like, you know, they could have easily have titled the movie July the 4th, but I guess that would be a bit controversial because it's the birth of America and whatever, but they made a, they made some movies where, you know, the killings are happening around the time of Jesus' birthday, you know, Christmas, so it can't get any more controversial than that. But I guess then again, July the 4th would seem like a little, like a bit up on the nose, and I know what you did last summer, it, you know, is a, probably a better title. So, yeah, I mean, um, okay, spoiler warning, spoiler warning, if you have not seen the movie, 
Now I'm glad that it, it turns out it's actually the same killer in from the first movie. But not only that, then he has some help this time around, you know, like Will Benson. He, I mean, come on, the connection, duh. And then also, like, in the you know, like earlier on in this movie, like where they are on the on the radio and they have to answer a question in order to win the tickets to the Bahamas, but they actually got the answer wrong. And then they touch base on that later. Now I'm wondering who actually knew, like, a, 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 like a moviegoer knew that they, that was wrong, and then they're like, "Wait a minute, bullshit! How you know that is wrong? That is wrong." And then, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have known because I didn't know the, what the answer was until they touched base on that later. Like, oh, okay, I guess not a whole lot of people knew that. I guess so that's how they can get away with it. But this movie was a bit more intense and it did, you know, the killer did seem a bit, you know, he did scare me a little bit more in, in, in this one, a little bit, almost. And then... And even tw twenty year, um, nearly twenty years later, I still, I still enjoy it. And I saw this movie in theaters because I enjoyed the first movie so much. And I'm like, damn it, this this gives me a chance to make up for you know, like for not going to see that first movie in the theaters. But and the only weird thing about this movie to me is the the way when it was released. It was released in like November. They could have released it easily somewhere in October or September. You know, or even during the summertime, like around July in July. But I guess they, I guess they needed time to finish up the movie and finish up polishing it or whatever. But hey, I'm still, I'm still glad that we got this movie, and um, and then we left opening for uh, part three, and it never happened. I mean, we did get a, a part three, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not a continuation of this movie. So, yeah. I mean, it just stops here, and I'm like, damn it. It would have been cool to have one more movie and just have, like, a trilogy. But, yeah. Um, and that all being said, uh, I would get, I would probably give this movie... <laughs> Since I'm biased, I'm giving it four chair spins out of five, so here we go. One, two, three, four epic chair spins. So... Yeah, um, uh, if you guys enjoyed my re my review for this movie, make sure you thumb up the video, click subscribe, and click the bell icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>